Hello and welcome to Anderton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. He's Tay Tay, allowed in the room with me today. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the differences between the SM7B from Shure and the Podcast Pro from Sontronics. Let's get into the video. Ah. Right, coming up in this video, you're going to be hearing me talking into the Podcast Pro and the SM7B. This is just us going straight into our interface, which is Universal Audio Apollo 8X. We're going to do another test after this using a thing called a cloud lifter, which I'll explain when we get to there what that is. And then also maybe at the end, I'm going to play some dodgy acoustic and singing into the microphone because these are for being used as well other than from other things other than podcasting. Spit it out, Jack. Right, let's do some audio examples speaking into both. I'm going to stick with the Podcast Pro for now, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the microphone, and you can get a gauge for what it sounds like. No processing on here at the moment. It's a hypercardoid pickup pattern, so a tight pickup pattern, which should be good for el eliminating extraneous noise. It's got a built-in pop shield in there. In the small time I've spoken into it, I've realized that I think there's a sweet spot a bit back from the microphone. Notoriously on the SM7B, you've got to get up really close. So on this, I would advise staying back. If I get in close, you'll hear if I go podcaster pro, podcaster pro, podcaster. When I move back a bit, it all evens out. But that's probably because it's taking a lot less gain on our preamps to get a decent level into our interface, which is great. That's one of the things with the SM7B. If you ever bought one or use one, you need a lot of gain on those preamps. And unless you've got a quiet room, the computers are away from your microphone, this will be better for you. And your SM7B is rocking up above 350 pounds. So uh, also other things about the Sontronics hand-built and designed in the UK. Readily available, different colors, easy to attach. It's lighter the, than the SM7B as well. That's enough on here. Let's listen to the SM7B. Now listening to the SM7B. Some facts about the SM7B. You might have seen it before Joe Rogan uses it on his podcast. You might have seen it from some of your favorite singers as well. Michael Jackson, U2, Bono always uses this or an SM58, Incubus, Metallica, all those vision, uh, videos of Metallica using this. It's a classic. Things that I think I've already noticed about the podcast pro that might have an edge on there, especially considering the price difference is that our preamps are absolutely dimed on this SM7B. Uh, we're going to address that with this thing called a cloud lifter in our next test. Um, other things are that you have to get very close to it. It really dies off when you move away, but a lot of people, it gives you that sound out of the gate. Both are said to be already EQ'd. There are some EQ adjustments on the back where you can boost the treble and the, the presence, and you can take out the bass. We've got that flat at the moment. Uh, I would suggest buying a cloud lifter for this. I haven't found anything that's loud enough out the gate. Uh, it'd be great on drums or loud guitar, but for speaking, get a cloud lifter. And that brings us on to our next test. Let's try some little phrases with the cloud lifter on both. Let's do it. Push. Okay, we're going to fly through the next bit, hopefully. You're now listening to the SM7B using a thing called a cloud lifter. Here it is in my hand. It's a simple box with no knobs on it. Essentially, it's a 25 dB fixed gain JFET boost. That's the dorky bit. Adds a lot of clean gain before it hits your preamp, and it means that you can run the preamps on your interface a lot lower. You get a lot lower noise floor and it's easy to work, hopefully, as well. I think it improves the sound of the SM7 inexorably. So I'm going to say 
a phrase in here. We're going to edit and you're going to hear the same phrase into the Sontronics again with the cloud lifter. Not that it needs it, but we'll hear the difference, okay? The human torch was denied a bank loan. 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 The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. 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 How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Right, you're now listening to me with the Podcast Pro going through the cloud lifter. It adds so much gain that we're padding the signal on our interface. A pad is just a arbitrary number that it knocks down the volume. Uh, if you don't have a pad, uh, to explain it, I'm just saying, if you don't have a way to pad the input, you probably won't need this. But again, that's one of the benefits of the Podcast Pro. This is an expensive bit of kit. Andertons do a thing called the SE Dynamite which is a similar thing. I think it's about £80 pounds of a fixed gain preamp. But you don't need to buy that with this. Again, why am I talking through it? I just thought it'd be interesting. Let's do a conclusion on these mics. Take this out and I'll do it on this because you've heard this a million times. This is the special bit of kit. Under £100. Pound. Let's get to it. We're about to hear me playing some dodgy acoustic and singing into the SM7B, that's going to have the cloud lifter on, just because you kind of need it if you're going to be using it, I think anyway. And I'm going to be doing the same into the Podcast Pro. Let's hear me doing some dodgy emo stuff. Yeah! My friend and me Looking through her red box of memories My friend and me Looking through her red box of memories Thanks for joining us here today and watch me go through those things. Hopefully it gave you an idea of what the Podcast Pro sounds like compared to the SM7B. It's incredibly good value, I think, and we haven't even done anything with any post-processing or things like that. So um, check it out. British made, um, British design. God, I sound like a, like a Brexiteer. But anyway, I'm going to play you out again with some dodgy acoustic. Thanks ever so much. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. And uh, we'll try to learn from the hate. All the best. See you guys. Rockstar Lunch. <laughs>